Hey guys. It is Hello. us two. Who? Tunnel. <gasps> we were talking about the tunnels earlier today. It doesn't matter, we'll have a dictionary. <laughs> Woo! Very relevant stuff coming through. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are at Centennial Park. Yep, we are. Do you know how many times we've wanted to do this and when we have come here in the <laughs> don't come here at summer Closed. at night time closed stop, stop. hand hand i Sorry. put a call out to family and friends <laughs> whose so earthly nuts. vessels are interred here today to let them know that we were coming so mm. to nana and gavin and all the other beautifuls right. that are here bribed see that could mean that could be coming from any one mm. of the places we've been to because yeah. they tend to pop in yeah we're going to do a bit of a walk around here tonight. The side gates, like the main gates are locked. The security locks it so you can't drive in. The side gates are open and I have spoken to someone who said you can actually walk in here. You just can't drive in here after dark because the gates are locked. There's Look, something. if security comes along and tells us that we have to leave, we will leave. However, technically we aren't breaking the law. There's something All right. right. You need to check to see electrical, anything yeah. that could be causing that. Well, we'd love you to talk to us and make a noise. Yes, well, there's definitely nothing around here that could be setting it off. I'm standing on a, on a beautiful lush lawn. It is a lush lawn, it's beautiful. There's no electrical, what, who? Stop it. I'm going. Oh, okay. You can go. All right, thank you for coming. Let somebody time. else through that wants to talk. Okay, we're in one of the return servicemen section. Um, this is from World War II okay. and also so. Vietnam. I kind of love this section because right behind is one of the children's section and I always like to think these guys are watching out for the kids. Hi boys. It's Tracy here. I came and spoke to you last Anzac Day, not the one that's just gone, the one before that. Do you remember me? Does anyone want to come forward and talk to me? To come and talk to you and to take some beautiful nighttime photos. Are you good with that? Come walk with me, boys. Come on. Come walk with me. It's so beautiful here. Isn't it? Can I just ask my choice, why? Yeah. Am I a ghost? Yes, you are, sweetheart. Unless you're a, another interdimensional why? or fey energy. Why is it not filled? Because it's not. The, that's, this is, these are some of the first graves that were ever here when Centennial Park opened. Yeah. Yeah, right. So these are from Vietnam and World War II. Yeah, right. You can see like the World War II, a lot of them are Lawrence. older. You get some of the younger ones. We had Larry before, now we've got Lawrence. So Hello someone, Larry. Hello Larry, Lawrence. Lawrence are the same, you know, nickname. Hi boys. Do you want to come and show up in our photos? Use all your energy, your light energy. Come and show up in orbs or manifest yourself in some other way. That would be beautiful. Do you want to do a communication session here with me? How do you feel about that? Shall we do that? I think you're going to find the lawn is very wet. More than likely. Yeah, it is. It's beautifully looked after. It really yeah. is. You know, also, if you use your voice and talk into my, this device in my hand, when I play it back, I'll be able to hear you guys. LP buttery. You look at some of the ages and you think, you know, a 20-year-old boy should be out having girlfriends and having fun and, you know, 21. Like... I really don't know how I would cope if that was my child. I really don't. 
These are all so young. It's beautifully maintained, it's so gorgeous. Alright guys, I'm going to do a necrophonic session here, so just let me set up for a minute and I'll be right back. boys I'm gonna open a session so you come through and talk to me okay <laughs> calling out to the return servicemen here in this section hello boys <laughs> hi boys how are you yep. all right boys I'm gonna open a session so you come through and talk to me okay Calling out to the return servicemen here in this section. Hello, boys. <laughs> Hi, boys. How are you? Are you taking care of the place? Are you looking after the children here? Do you remember I came and talked to you a couple of Anzac days ago? Do you remember that? First of all, I want to thank you for your service. You did a wonderful thing. Thank you so much. I have to say, it makes me a little sad seeing some of the ages. You did a very noble thing. And to the boys who went to Vietnam, I know you didn't have much choice in that, and I'm sorry. Love and light to you all. Have you got a message you want to tell the people? What would you like to tell everybody? This, this is your platform to talk, okay? Are you happy with how they take care of your resting spots? Any children here want to come through? I think the diggers watch over any child spirits that are here, am I right? I could have sworn I just heard a audible voice behind me then. Mark and Richard, are you here, darlings? Mark, Richard, are you here? Nana? Gavin? Keep an eye on us tonight, okay? Same with the diggers. Keep an eye on us tonight, please. Can you see Lou over there? Lou's having a look at your resting spots where your earthly vessels are. Had some interesting names come up before. Are they relevant to the returned servicemen here? No, I think it was Barbara was one of them. Was that some of your sweethearts maybe coming through or your wives? Yeah? Hey? Do you know my name? Can you say my name? I think someone just faintly said my name then. It sounded like a woman. Can you say Lou's name? Mark, are you here, darling? Richard? Gavin? Nana? 
Walk with us tonight, okay? Can you do that for me? Should we go over and see Lou? Okay. We'll go over and see Lou. Yes, we're doing that now. Lou's busy. She's um, filming and I think she's still got ghost tube on. Ah. Yeah, because I picked up a figure here and I've gone around to the other side, but they're, they're not there now. Boys, can you show up in the SLS that Lou's holding? If you stand in front of the device in her hand. And I've been filming all the other, like, graves. And She'll be able to see up. you. It's only on, like, in here. That's not there. It was so, yeah, so definitive. Oh. Did someone just chug on my t-shirt? Yeah, if you watch the phone. Did it's, someone just touch my t-shirt? I was trying to film around to see proof and there's only in those, those two graves there. Like here. The lot and the These row two. here. Get this one here, yeah. And I went around to the front and there's nothing. Do you want me up. to go around there? Yeah, go on. Boys and men. I call you all boys. That's a term of affection. All you digger mates. Lou thought a, a figure came up here on SLS. Come stand with me. R.D. Burford. It was between, yeah. 25 years old and you've got C.Y. Wadlow who was 22. A.C. Lawrence who was 28. Did you just say that's me? Yes, mate. I just called out your name. All right. I want you to acknowledge Lou, please. Maybe stand to attention and and acknowledge Lou. Can you do it? Good job. Can you tell me what your name is? Oh, that sounded very Aussie, those voices. Well done. Good job, guys. I'll come back round over here, okay? But I wanted to go around and prove that. It must have been something because yeah, I'm picking up anything else. This is such a beautiful place. It really is. Do you know I've got some photos of when this first opened when your graves were here. Did you know that? Yeah, look. Oh, hear that? Yeah, true, he just said. That's what I was getting. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. See? That's a real figure. Guys, is Lou seeing you on the SLS camera? Yes this or no? This is just a video of playing back for you that I filmed just here. Yes or no? All right, well, who, who are we seeing on the SLS camera? Tell us your names, mate. What's your name? And did, did you hear that? I said, can you come touch my hand and we beep. Yep. I reckon it might be something, hun. Um, look, and then when I went around, to prove on the other side. Well, it very well could be. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to end this session with you. Honest? I won't be able to tell yet. Yeah, sorry. I had some stuff come through that I could understand. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to switch off for now, okay? Will you keep an eye on us and protect us while we're here, please? Thank you. Tell yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You know you're pretty awesome, don't you? Thank you for everything. Love and light to you all. Goodbye. Bye. Oh my goodness. I don't like turning off. Oh, that beautiful breeze just kicked in. Yeah, sorry. I was going to come over and I'm like, oh no, I'm getting some of How nice. All right, I'm going to take some photos. Um...
if that's someone here, can you go and touch that grave that I can see in front? Can you come and touch my hand? So I'm filming again now and those figures are not coming up. Oh. Now look at this. Now how's that? Alright, so I'm going to come back to where I was before, where I saw those figures, and now there's nothing. The same place. Oh no, there we go again. So, sorry, apologies for standing on anyone. to your grave. Would you like me to come over to your grave? Yes, would you like me to come over? Have you gone now? Okay. D.V. Brown, Royal Australian Engineer, age 38, dearly loved husband of Olga, M.L.T. Curtis, Royal Australian Air Force, age 32, someone here. I wonder if it's you, Mr. Curtis. Corporal Curtis, sorry. Okay, so if I go around this way. Can you show yourself to me? So I've come a little bit closer. Okay, is it here? Uh, Brewster Jones? Is it you that's been showing yourself to me? E.C. Fletcher? W.G. Williams? Right, if I come back here, I'm going to come back to this size. 
And so if you come How up many again. Uh, I've got SLS at the moment. Ah. Yeah, because I picked up a figure here and I've gone around to the other side, but they're, they're not there now. Boys, can you show up in the SLS that Lou's holding? If you stand in front of the device in her hand. But I've been filming all the other like grades and She'll nothing came see up. You. It's only on like in here. That's not there. It was so, yeah, so definitive. Oh. Did someone just chug a... AC Lawrence is 28. Oh. Now... Did you just say that's me? Yes, mate. I just pulled out your name. Yeah, and there's something over here now. Alright, I want you to acknowledge Lou, please. Maybe stand to attention and not let acknowledge Lou. Oh, it's right in the front here. Hello, can you show yourself again to me, please, like you did just then? Can you tell me what your name is? Oh, that sounded very Aussie. Oh, that's the shadow. That's what's picking up. Well done. Good job, guys. Yeah, so whatever I got before, I didn't have shadow because I didn't, ha I didn't have a shadow. I'll come back down over here. Okay? Yeah, it's weird. What's not weird, it's just, yeah. But I wanted to go around and prove that it must have been something because it's yeah. not picking up anything else. Is there someone there? Want to come and show yourself to me? Oh my gosh, I just had a feel a thing. Are you the person that everyone sees that is only half a body? No. Yeah, it was. The first figure I saw had half a body. Like from the waist up, that's what I was filming. Is that you? Look, and these legs are cut off. Uh, let me get Can mine. you show me? Can you show me who, what's your name? Is your name Lawrence or Larry? Are you the one that people have seen walk past the cafe door? Is that you? Did you have an injury when you died? Because your legs seem to keep coming off all the time. Did you that thing? Yes, I did. What's your name? Do you want to come and manipulate this device and talk to me? Let's pick it up something. I'm just going to go to the other one. Sorry, is that alright? What's it picking up? Yeah, when, it fir when I first turned it on, it was half a figure. What's your name? The spirit or the entity that's seen here, can you show up and lose camera please in the SLS and then talk to me in this camera here. If you talk to me. Can you come closer to me? Play with me. Okay. Can you come closer Kevin. to me? Will you come? Are you a child? Are we talking to children? Because only children would want to be played with. Can you walk closer to me and come up right up to the door? Kevin, what's your, is Kevin, is that who you are? Is this, the, is this the entity that's seen here? Can you move further over in the middle of the, in the um, foyer there so we can see you better? Can you move around? God. God. Yes, some place deep. Some, place, some people would really, really connect this place with God. There's a lot of people here who've got a lot of faith in God. Yeah, it keeps showing a half figure. Window. Something window. It sounded like you said leave it window. Leave window. Oh, that's a generator. That Feeling. Is. Feeling. I reckon we go down the other end. Prisoner. Mirror. Mirror. To the spirit or the entity that's seen here, can you show up and lose camera, please, in the SLS, and then talk to me in this camera here? 
If you talk to me, you play with me. me. Play with me. Kevin. Okay. Can you come close Kevin. to me? Are you a child? Are we talking to children? Because only children would want to be played with. Can you walk closer to me and come up right up to the door? Kevin, what's your... Is Kevin, is that who you are? Is this, a, is this the entity that's seen here? Can you move further over in the middle of the... in the um, foyer there so Lou can see you better? Can you move around? God. God. Yes, some place. Deep. Deep. Some, place, some people would really, really connect this place with God. There's a lot of people here who've got a lot of faith in God. Yeah, Leave it. Window. Something window. It sounded like you said leave it. Window. Leave it. Window. Oh, that's a generator. That Feeling. Feeling. I reckon we got Prisoner. Prisoner. Because it's close to the close to the toilet. Because wasn't there someone seen in the toilet as well? Yeah, that's what they were saying. They yeah. feel someone rushed yeah, past. Yeah, and she said that they only see half a body and it comes up this way. Mm. Well, that's what I filmed. What if we come round this way? Yeah, come walk with me. Oh, yeah. Who's with me right now? Lower. Lo lower. Rope. Rope. Did you just say lower half of the body before? Yeah, I did. Oh my goodness. No, but it's the upper body though. So. Yeah, but you can't see. Yeah, the that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to go down the right round. Yeah. How's that, hey? Interesting. As soon as I put the camera on, it came up. Oh, I still have to go down to one step, even after all this time with my knee. Yeah. Knees take a long time to heal, guys. Oh, wow. I might, I need to oh, that's a beautiful sculpture. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Except I'm not filming it right now. You are? <laughs> I'm not filming it. Ooh. Ooh. Now, you have to also remember where we are is where a lot of funeral services are held. So there's going to be a lot of energy. There's going to be a lot of emotion. Not just from those who've passed away, but also from the people who've said goodbye. So, leaves. There would have been funerals today here, and there's also funerals tomorrow. Mm, I just... Yeah, there's it's a lot of energy here, Lou. No, I just felt like was Believe. They probably are. <laughs> they probably <laughs> are. <laughs> Shine your light over there. If you're in doubt, call them out. Hello, somewhere on over there watching us. Can you show yourself in my SLF, please? There's been a, there's a lot of emotion in this area here. It's a highly charged area. The same as over at the crematorium, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Lou and I have actually done the behind the scenes tour here. Highly recommend you do it. It's freaking awesome. I need to flick you around, guys. That's better. We're going to come up here. A long time ago. A long time ago. Well, this place has been here for a long time. You know that. Poof. Leaves falling on our heads. Five. Five. Is that the age you were when you passed? Scream. Scream. Ah, oh, we're near the columbariums. I was just thinking about them when not here anymore. I know. Bartholomew family. Yeah. I know. That's really still sticks to me, that story. Tragedy. Very sad stuff. Okay. Burnt. Burnt. A lot of crispies here. No, oh, really? Hello. I've got me the barbecue at the... America. America. Hmm. This is the other side where we came from. 
loved watching you. These, <laughs> watching you. These are the toilets where the entity has been felt and seen and comes racing through here past the kiosk and or the cafe. Half the body. Half the body. Oh. Who's here? Tell me who you are. Now I'm on the other side. So we've just walked around. Why are you here? We've come here tonight to talk to you. We also have family and friends who are here. And to take some photos. Are you okay with that? We come here with the utmost love, light and respect. Lee's got SLS now. Scream. Scream again. Oh no, scream. I was gonna say this is like a screen. Scream, yes. Yes, yeah. she's looking through the screen, that's correct. Well done you. Good job. If you choose to show up in front of Lou's camera, are you able to move around? Move to a different spot? Lou's taking some pickies. Oh, for God's Doorway sake. drift. Doorway drift. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, I suppose this could be classed as a doorway, couldn't it? Wow. Just be careful, Lou. I'm just freaking out about your phone through there. Uh, oh, this is my cute. I'll, I'll walk away. If I don't look, if I don't have to look, I don't have to acknowledge. Strange. What's strange? Is it strange us being here at night time? I don't want it to be strange. In danger. Who's I in? don't know. Who You're in is danger. He? I don't Stroke. know. Oh, hang on a minute. In danger. Who is he? I don't know. Stroke. Wow. And that was all when I went over near this way. Mother. Mother. My mother's mother is here. Dorothina, Irene, Nana, are you here? You're not very far away from here. Well, your ashes aren't far away. You're on your soul journey. That I know for a fact, because I was there when you did it. I was there when you left. <laughs> Patient, watching. You patiently watching, are you? Who are you? Evil. Oh, nice. I've got someone patiently watching who's evil. Lovely. Well, you know what? We do not fear and we are protected. You know this. I call upon all the energies and the power around me to protect us. Fight. I don't need to fight. James. Hello, James. Dining. James is dining. Are you okay? No, someone just said James. Am I dead? James is dining and we're right next to the cafe. Who is he? Who is Bed. you, darling? So Bed. Look at this. Oh my God. Do you think it's all the metal, though? Because every time they're saying something, it's just going right up. I'd have to be really, really close for that, and it's doing nothing. 
James, what were you having to eat in the cafe? What were you having? What were you dining on? Do you know what? I love a good chai latte. What about you, James? What do you like? Oh my God, it went all the way up to all the way to the end. Do you like a nice coffee? Or a cup of tea? Cellar. That wind has picked up considerably. Sure has. Watching. Who's watching? Oh, I'm sure we're being watched. I have no Catherine, doubt about that. Catherine, follow me. Catherine, follow me. Catherine? I'm working with it, Catherine. Where would we follow you to, yeah. Catherine? Daft. What, daft? Daft. Yeah, do you feel that? We do have the odd moments we feel a bit daft, but anyway, it can happen to all of us. Other side. On the oh, other side. On the other side. Do you watching. Go on the other side. I've maybe? had this before, watching, and it's behind us, apparently. Ah, yeah. interesting. Hmm. You can watch all you like. Yep. Not bothered. Do you have anything else you'd like to tell me? This is how many? How many? What? How many are watching? I don't know. You tell me. How many are watching? Don't leave and then leave here. Dislike. Dislike. Who do you dislike? Other side. Other side. Under. You'll said other side as well. So else both said it now. Is someone disliking their journey on the other side? Why? Do you feel you went before your time? That's so pretty. It does look pretty, doesn't it? Don't be afraid to take your soul journey. You've got purpose on the other side now. You know that. This life finishes, but you know what? The one that you now you have another life that continues on the other side. Hold. Hold. Aroused. Aroused. Oh, we had aroused over there. Too. Okay, that's just a little bit. And that came on mine. Odd. This is weird that we've got these words. It is actually. Backward. Who's backward? That what is happening? Scratch. What's happening? Well, what's happening is Lou and I are actually here to talk to people on the other side. Would you like to talk to us? Where are you? I'm in the park. Where are you? Am I dead? Well, if I'm talking to you through this device, you're either someone who has crossed to the other side, or you are an interdimensional being, Brett, or you that? are a fey energy. There will be no threat towards us, do you understand? We are protected and we have family and friends and loved ones who are protecting us. Nicholas. Dining. Hello, Dining. Ning. Mm. I can't. Old. Oh, I want you. Oh, no, I want to. Dining. Okay, I'm going to show you why this is so significant. Well, We've had names. This is the new cafe. Yep. Has yours gone all the way up? Look at mine. Yeah, mine's going nuts. Look at this, look at the reading. Oh my gosh. No, mine hasn't gone up, but it's it's warning me. I hope you're enjoying your food. Closet. So just to let you know, mirror. we had dining the word before, and then I've just had it as well. I've got mirror and again, too. And two different finds, two different ghost tube apps, and both came up. That's crazy. And what was that? You had mirror again? Yeah. That's twice you've said mirror. That is. Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Guilty. Guilty. I had Deborah. I had De Deborah on mine. I know Remember? you did. I had Deborah, Sarah, and another name. Oh my gosh, what is this? If you get Larry, I'm going to stop my phone. I'm yes, we are. Stevie. We're Ruth. talking to those. Follow me, please. I can't. They're talking to each other. What happened to me? Well, if I'm talking to you, you've obviously passed away, but how you passed away, I can't do it. Yes. Angels will be watching over you. Blue. Your name Please just you came up. As well. Do they no, just say blue? Oh, blue. Yes. True. <laughs> True. True blue. True blue. Killed. I believe you both said Deborah as Killed. well. Killed. 
Killed. Killed. What happened to you? Yep, killed. So Deborah is someone, obviously, we need to find tonight if we've both had it. Do you know how many Deborahs are here? Oh, no. Take a guess. A lot. 169. Dark. Monster. Dark. Where? This is just crazy. You're going to get a lot of energy around here. And it's not just people who've passed away, it's also the residual energy from people who've been here grieving. Tombstone. Tombstone. Interesting. All right, guys, I'm going to switch off for a minute and I'll be right back. Right, was not filming. And even though it's windy and you can hear leaves and shit told you, I've just heard running come up behind us. We've been having stuff going on and off saying stalker behind you, watching and all this sort of stuff. I distinctly heard, I heard it, it was like this, it was like, no I heard it, but I thought it was, just no, it was, I heard it. You're playing silly buggers, my advice is stop it. Well, it did tell me to keep it coming. Sure, it well. did. <laughs> this tree is fucking amazing, tree. I love it. Oh, oh the one, sorry, the one we want to go to is down here. Disagree. <laughs> no, they're disagreeing with you. This is a little pollen point in my. I know, I took an allergy tablet too. No, I don't want your bloody bloody oh, look. headache and all the other crap that goes with it. There's one over here too. Where? Judy. Hang on. Oh. Mum's name. Carpet. Yeah, wall symmetry. Isn't but where's the contemplation? Oh, it's over this way. Sorry. Isn't it down here on the right? Yes. Yeah, right. No things. Walk of the style, alright? Stop. There'll always be a negative element of some sort, yeah. but you know what? You need to stop that, okay? Yeah, it's a bitch. Oh no. Witch. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well. So you're calling it witch because you're pissed off because we're calling you out. Well, we don't want to hear about it, guys. We're not interested. CT New Memorial Garden. Hmm. See, we did all these on the tour, too, yeah, we which did. is really good. It's a good workout too guys. Yeah, I know. I'm like, how can I do this? But that's the thing, I'm poisoned. I'm not feeling the pain because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. You exactly. Know what I mean? <laughs> poison, we have passed now. before. Look, diggers over here. Hi boys. Thank you for your service. Puts it into perspective when you see just rows upon rows and rows of someone's war. And I'm sorry to say if certain politicians of the world don't get their shit together, it's going to be happening all over again. Play. 
Yeah, yeah, but if it's nuclear, well, we're all going to be obliterated anyway. Well, that's actually, I wasn't actually, wasn't actually thinking. Oh. There's other ways of war <laughs> than nuclear. I was just watching something on it, and I'm like, and if anything happens, it'll be Putin that does it. You just kind of don't understand why they would, if they did do a nuclear thing, because we're all going to be dead. What's the point? Well, not everybody will be. Mm. Those that can go into the under underground bunkers. They said as soon as a bomb hits and it goes out, we're all we're just dust. No, but there's underground bunkers in America that goes for kilometres with oh, yeah, cities built that. underneath yeah, but it. For us, people like us, we're just gone. We won't know much about it, and will no, we? That's what I mean. You won't know anything. You're dead. Louder. This is the Garden of Remembrance. Louder. And if you come over here. My, my step-grandfather is in here somewhere. L-M-N-O-P. He was over in New Guinea. So you can look up the names in this book and it will tell you where their ashes are interred. It's great trying to do this in my glasses on, I'll have to sigh true. Oh, there's a Lawrence. Right. Oh, well, we had Lawrence come Ooh, up earlier. Lawrence and Murray. Um, what was the surname? Phillips. Frederick. There he is. Trapped. We all call him Claude. Oh. His name is, he's got about three names, Frederick, something or other, Oscar Phillips it was. <laughs> so there he is. So that's my step-grandfather. Shot. shot. He wasn't shot. He ended up just dying from... He ended up coming home with a lot of issues. Angel. A lot of issues. Unfortunately, we weren't quite as understanding back then about mental illness and PTSD. So this here, the Garden of Remembrance. And this is the Columbarium with all our, lots of our returned servicemen here. And the water feature goes all the way down to the end. And we're going to go down to the end because I want to do a communication session. Again. There'll be none of that. Hi, boys. Sounds like fireworks. Yeah, it does. What did you do with fringe? Don't come in. Of course. Don't come in. We're here with the utmost love, light and respect. You know that. Sure Thank you for your service, boys. Yes, um, he was my Nana's second husband and he came back very, very, very damaged. Um, one of the most smartest dressed men you'd ever see, could turn a hand to anything, but he had trouble with alcohol. And even as a kid, I never spoke badly of him because even back then I kind of understood. Oh, uh, yes, you are. Even as a child, I kind of understood that there was something wrong. Like he'd gone and endured stuff that... <laughs> there you go. Endured stuff that we'd never endure in a lifetime. I don't know who it is that keeps asking Shot us to play, again. but if you're not a child, you need to stop asking that question. And you go, and it goes all the way down to here. And that's the nighttime view of it.
we're protected, you need to stop telling us to do that. Not happening. It's a nice place to sit and reflect. Is anybody here? Any diggers here? You want to come forward and talk into my camera and say your name? You're very welcome to do that. My hospital. name's... Many of you did end up in hospital. My, yes, my step-grandfather ended up in hospital and passing. Here. Did you see those lights go off? Uh, yes. Oh, I thought it was just blue. No. But they they might be sensor lights. Sense, I think they are sensor lights. But I didn't notice them come on. Did you know what I mean? I thought they were on on. Kind of weird. Uh huh. Maybe. We'll know when we go back up if they turn on again. Yeah, maybe they just stay on for a significant yeah. time. Do you guys like to do a communication session with me? I do believe that's a shadowing of a tree branch. I would sit down the end there. You know what? Step aside and let someone with positive love and light come through. We do not wish to communicate with those of negativity. Move on. Oh, yeah, is that a tree branch? Yeah. Can you see it? I can. Above the black thing? The yeah, square. oh, it might be the flag. There's definitely something moving up There's there. There's a flag up there too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like something blowing in the breeze. Yeah, it's a flag. Now I can see what you mean. It's hard for me to focus on it because it's a long way away. Yeah. But... You can see, if you look above it, you can see the flag wow. blowing. Again. What's with the rails? Yeah. She's going, been going off. I thought I'd use this tonight to see if anyone now can you see it now? Yes, I can. All right, so dead man's penny. Let's see if we get anything. Opening up a session to the returned servicemen here at Centennial Park. I was going to say West Terrace. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anybody here that wants to come through and talk to me? Can you see what's in my hand? Can you see the dead man's penny that I've got in my hand? This belongs to my mother's uncle. Did any of you boys get one of these when you came back? Yes or no? Can you see it? You can light the K2 meter up as well if you did get one. If you have a dead man's penny, although apparently they don't call them the dead man's penny anymore because it's deemed disrespectful. There is another name it goes by now, but I can't remember it. Did any of you get one of these? Any of the diggers here?
Yes or no? Alright, so I'm not getting anything really on this. So now, I'm trying necrophonic. Alright, see the dead man's penny? Let's see if I come through and say anything on necrophonic. Did you see the dead man's penny I was holding? Did any of you get one of these when you came back from war? That dead man's penny, that photo belongs to my mother's, un uh, mother's uncle. Frederick Watson. He's not buried here though, he's buried in state. Did you come home and get gifted with anything like that? Do you have a message you'd like to give us? It's very peaceful here. What are you doing? Who's the gentleman that just asked what we were doing? Are you a returned serviceman? Thank you for your service if you are. Feel very protected and very safe in here. We were talking to some of the returned servicemen earlier over near the children. Are any of you boys here? Yeah, that's what I thought I heard too. Do you know our names? My name's Tracy. And I'm with Lou. Hello. Did you hear that before someone said howdy? Are you able to make the K2 meter go off? And that will also let us know that you're here with us. Do you want to try? What do you think about what's going over in Ukraine at the moment and with Russia? Does it worry you? Do you think there'll be another war? What advice would you give us? There. What advice would you give the world leaders right now? Jessica. That's a Jessica. Uh, it's in that. Spirit. You've got a beautiful place here. Do you remember me coming here a couple of Anzac days ago? Because I have family here too, you know. That was a very Aussie sounding yeah, male didn't it? voice. What's your name, mate? What was your name? Someone like I said on the way back. I could be wrong. All right, I'm going to break the connection and close this session with you now. Is that okay? Thank you for talking with me. I wish you love and light and peace on the other side, okay? Someone said thank you then. Lots of love to you all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, we've got night vision on and we're going to head out now. We've just came in tonight to sort of just touch base and check out the return servicemen and I've put the night vision on because we just heard voices yeah walk the other side so you don't fall in the water because I'm not picking you out goodbye thank you for having us
love and light to you all. <clears throat> Such a beautiful place. But at the same time, it's so sad that places like this have to be built. Why can't we just all get along? Are you hearing voices? That's what I was saying, I can hear voices. There's a road there, then the houses. Yeah. Goodbye, thank you for having us. building in the distance. See them with this. Feature in here. Oh, 
Oh, you and your dad's friend is. Yeah, Dougie's in here. <sighs> It's next to the crematorium. Hey? Next to the crematorium. Hmm. Springbank Island. Hmm. Oh, that's in there. It is beautiful. I'm not going to go in there because there'll be spiders everywhere. Yeah, that's okay. <sighs> no, nor do I. Look, there's another one there. <laughs> oh, where? Here, spider, here, sorry. It's <sighs> just a nice thing, Am I hearing a car? Plane. Trains, planes and automobiles. <laughs> Might have to change back to my other light. Yeah. Because I can't see the spitters. Oh, sorry, we'll just walk closer, I'll walk closer with you. What I've got to do, you see yeah, how the little IR light on top of my camera? Yeah, yeah. I've got to get another one to mount on the top. Oh, yeah, that's cool though that you can do that. I feel like I just had a, a vision of it in my mouth. Oh, God, is it food related again? Yeah, it is, hun, yeah. It's okay, it's not... It's not Right, down that way is the crematorium. Lou and I. Magnum, Magnum Almond. Oh, I haven't had a Magnum in fucking years. Vegan one would be nice. They do make them, you know. Yes. Right. I'm going to find a place to stop and put my other light back on. It is a big place. Now, do we need to bring Betty or not? Do we know? No. I'm going to bring my pillows though. So. Yeah, oh, actually, probably won't. Why? Because I've got to catch the bus. No, not doing that. Well, can, you, can I get stuff off you beforehand? Like on Tuesday, maybe? Well, that's a jolly good idea. Yeah, why don't you pack a bag and I'll just bring with you my car? Oh, no, but then you're staying great. Bernie's, but still, I could take the overflow. The overflow? Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Makes it sound like Enya. Was it the Onico? Oh, What's it called there? Onico. I, I'm an okay so, overflow. Um, bloody Darren's is down here, so we're looking at Oh, is it now here? However, is she just in here? Yes, but they're saying Darren's may not have been bad. As bad as people thought. Really? Mm. Well, he was the one that poor bastard that was murdered. Well, yes, yeah, and they right? reckon now he may have been murdered because he was. Uh -huh. So he didn't procure the boys? Possibly not. Don't mind us going off on a tangent. Right guys, I'm going to turn off because um, my IR light is not strong enough. It's just terrible. I know. Now, we're actually heading on our way out. Tonight, we just wanted to touch on the servicemen section, a couple of the sections. But before we go, we wanted to pay our respects to Winnis and Daniel. Winnis is the sister. Sorry. Winnis is the sister of, um, what's her sister's name? I Bartholomew. I think it was Heather. Heather Bartholomew. I'm so sorry for And her name. children who were murdered back in 1971. Um, Winnis's 
uh, brother-in-law killed Winnis's sister and her children and killed Winnis and Daniel. Daniel was the last to die. Uh, <laughs> I'd really highly recommend you look up the Bartholomew family murders and um, yeah, real eye-opener story, long story short. He was sentenced to hang in Old Adelaide Jail. That was commuted to, I think, about eight years in prison. He left, went into state, remarried, created a whole new life, um, had, and I think had adopted the same number of children that he actually murdered of his own from his first marriage. And his second family didn't know about his dealings until he died and they found all his paperwork and his prison release papers. So there you go. Um, Winnis's sister and her nieces and nephews, the funeral service was held here at Centennial Park. Centennial Park actually came and assisted in the finances of the funeral for Winnis's sister and the children because it was so expensive with, even though funerals weren't that expensive back in the day, I suppose when you compare it nowadays, I suppose it was really if you didn't have the money. But Centennial Park, I think, covered the cost of the service and I think the burial as well. Uh, Winnis's husband, obviously, he um, paid for Winnis's and Daniel's resting spot, which is here. Centennial Park is a beautiful place, but it's also got a lot of secrets here. <laughs> there are quite a few people um, here who have met very sad endings. Uh, Mark and Richard are another two classic examples. So... We're going to head on out. We may as well finish our outro here. If I can flick the camera around, will it let me? No, it won't. Fine. We'll go up closer and try. Back in a minute. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude tonight's um, video here at Centennial Park. This was only a last-minute, spur-of-the-moment thing that Lou and I decided to do. We've both been itching to get out and about. Very much so. So, <laughs> hope you enjoy this video. So on behalf of myself and Lou and Bernie and Mason, I'd like to wish you peace, love, harmony, prosperity. Remember, tomorrow's never promised. Do the best you can. Live your best life. The sprinklers just went off. Mm -hmm. And we will see you in the next one very, very soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. See ya.